Hello and welcome back. So, we are on part 9. Part 10 will be the last boiler room, I promise you. <laughs> so we are nearly done. Um, don't forget your doorway in front. And what we should have done at this point was take the outline out for G deck, but uh, I forgot. So if you want to start with that and then start building your wall up. So I only realised at this point that I'd gone a bit ahead of myself. There we go. So I'll just take that out and then we can carry on with the side walls then. As I've said in previous videos, I know this is getting repetitive now. Um, but it, it needs doing. You know, if you want all your boiler rooms in there, it needs doing. But we're not far off finished now. Um, me and Will have built the engine reciprocator room now. Um, I just need to get round to editing that video, which is not going to be fun. <laughs> I mean, the the time on this video before I do any editing at all, any speeding up or anything like that, is 28 minutes. Um, currently, the engine reciprocator footage is well over two hours, so <laughs> but it, that that won't be um, it, the final product of it. It'll be a lot less than that. I'm hoping to get it in one part. Um, but if it ends up being too long for one part, I'll split it into two. So the engine reciprocator might be part 11 and 12, but I'll try to just keep it to one part, but we'll see. So I'm just going to, like the previous video, I'm going to speed the side walls up. And if you do want the side wall up top, um, you can afford to bring this side wall out by one more block. Are yeah, you better off doing that now if you want it? But if you're not bothered about the side wall up top, then just leave it as it is. So I'll just finish this bit off and then I'll speed the other side wall up to save some time in the video. Okay, so now with that bit done, we're going to do the coal bunkers now. So like usual, a block of three to each side of your doorway. And then just connect them up to the side walls. And then we're going to bring them up to height with the side walls as well. Uh, don't forget your coal in the middle. If you want it in there, I do suggest putting it in. So yeah, um, as I said, we've done the reciprocating engine room. Um, I'm not going to rush putting these final two parts out, uh, part 9 and part 10, simply because I need to have time to edit that video. Um, it's going to take a while. Um, so I don't want to be uploading part 9 and 10 and then you're waiting a ridiculous amount of time for the reciprocating engine room part to come out. I want it to flow so I'm not going to rush these final two parts out with the boiler rooms. I know you want to get it done and you're excited to get it done. Um, as well, I will be cracking on with that video very shortly. Um, I've just I've had a few bits to do over the last few days, so I've fallen behind a little bit. Um, I'm not going to have Will over this way as much either for a little bit, so I'm going to have to, well, do a lot of it myself, unfortunately, through no fault of his own, of course. Well, congratulations on the new job, Will. <laughs> Um, but that will slow things down a little bit. Um, I'll, I'll try my best for you. So, like usual, I'm just going to speed these bits up as well because you know what you're doing. Um, <laughs> we've done enough of these boiler rooms now. Just don't forget to put your coal in. Okay, so now we've done that side, we're going to get on with this side. And this side we do put the pump room in. So make sure you leave a, a one block gap for your, your doorway to go in. Um, and just connect it up to the walls like usual. Um, in part 10, I think I did mention this in the previous video, in part 10 we go back through all the boiler rooms and put a pump room in each one. Because uh, some people have said that there was one in every single room. And it doesn't take much to put them in, so we'll just do that. I don't mind adding things in if people say that, you know, this should have been there or 
you've missed this out. Um, Because as I said in part one, at the beginning of part one, we're not Titanic experts. So, you know, we will have missed things off or things might not look exactly like it was. But we don't mind changing the odd bits. If anyone's got any suggestions and as long as it doesn't clash with the main design, you know, if it's going to be, if it's going to change everything, then that's not really doable for us. But we don't mind adding little bits in. So I'm just going to speed this bit up now and I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, so once you've done that, get your iron bars and put them all around the top. And then once we've done that, we're going to get on with the lower platform. I was really lazy in this part though. <laughs> I, um, I ran through to the other boiler room to grab the parts I needed instead of just doing it from the menu. Don't know why I did that. <laughs> Must have just been feeling really lazy at the time. But um, yeah, once we've done that, we'll do the placements for the lower platform. I opened the menu, but then decided that I wanted to do it this way instead, <laughs> for some reason. So I grabbed the ladder, and I also grabbed the trap door while I was here. There we go. Okay, now we can get on with it. Okay, so one block in. Uh, you go up by eight with your ladder. And the same on the other side. And then make the platform by two. I think I was just pretty much on autopilot with this now because I've done that many of them. Um, I actually got faster at building them over time as well. Don't forget to put your iron bars. And that's that side done. Oh, nearly done. Just connect it up to the top like that with your ladder. On both sides and then it's done. <laughs> Okay, so same on the other side, one block in, up by eight with your ladder, and then your platform. iron bars on and then finish it off with your ladder to the top okay so that's that done with So next, the placements for the boilers, so come to your doorway and it's one, two, three, four, and then two left and then do your block of three. One, two, three, four, five and then the sixth block, your block of three and come back to the first one. There's a gap of one, two, three, four, five, six and then on the seventh block do your three. One, two, three, four, five, six, and on the seventh block, do your three. And then one, two, three, four, five, and then on the sixth block, do your three. And that's the outlines for the boilers. And they are 18 long in this room. So I'll just show you how to make the first one like usual. 
um, and then I'll skip ahead and put the rest in off screen. I seem to be having a lot of issues with my mouse lately, which is actually really getting on my nerves. Um, I had quite a few issues in the recipro reciprocated engine room. Um, but I don't know whether that was lag or if it was my mouse. I'm not sure. <laughs> right. So that's that side done. Put your space in for your campfire. Might as well do that now. It is nice to get back to doing a bit of Minecraft. I've watched way too much news over the last few days um, with the whole Russia and Ukraine thing going on. It's nice to have a break from all that crap going on. I have noticed as well, um, one of my other Minecraft videos are doing really well at the minute from absolutely nowhere. Um, it got uploaded about two years ago, so it's not a new video. Um, it's a video of my city build that I've been doing since 2017 and for some reason it's just getting a lot of views which I'm not complaining at. I just don't get it because currently it's beating every other video on my YouTube channel including these Titanic ones. So it's just it's strange. <laughs> I don't know if people are like watching the Titanic video, the showcase video and then just checking out other videos from that or what but yeah just seems on fire at the minute not going to complain of course so I'll get your campfire in there I promise you we are nearly done with these boilers now I'm getting a little bit sick of doing them as well but they need doing so yeah, the, um, the city build that I've been doing um, originally was going to be the main focus of my YouTube channel. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then um, I, just, I started trying other things, like um, I started dabbling in a little bit of Fortnite and things like that, but um, they didn't get many views and it was a pain in the arse as well. It was like, I was, instead of just enjoying playing the game, I was thinking, Oh yeah, that's funny, I need to record that. It just, yeah, just didn't work out. Um, my Final Fantasy VII walkthrough is only unlisted. I haven't deleted it from the channel. Um, that wasn't getting too many views either. Um, it just seems to be Minecraft overall that's doing the best on my channel. Um, but even the city that I'm doing... Uh, didn't really stand out amongst the crowd um you've got a lot of people doing like city um videos and stuff like that on youtube um and tutorials and things like that um so it didn't overly stand out but it's not done too bad either <clears throat> so obviously when we did this titanic obviously this interior is, is completely us we didn't get any ideas from anywhere else um because i think initially william mentioned maybe looking at a few things on YouTube to see what other people had done and I said no because I didn't want it to influence anything that we did. <clears throat> I wanted it to remain, you know, unique and it seems to have paid off really. I mean here I am doing my first ever tutorial <laughs> which I never thought I would ever do in a million years. All I've ever done is follow other people's tutorials. But people seem to be doing all but okay with it because we haven't had any comments saying that anyone's stuck or anything like that. Especially with that uh, staircase. I'm really happy that so far nobody's said that they're struggling on it. So that's fantastic because I was worried about that staircase. Um, I am equally as worried <laughs> about the reciprocating engine room though. Um, but I think I overthought the staircase. And I think I might be overthinking the reciprocating engine room as well. All I know is <laughs> we spent about, I think overall, about six hours on that room the other day. Um, it got easy enough to build um, after a little bit, but still like, struggled with like my mouse and stuff like that. I don't know if it was lag or what, but... Um, I'm trying to not, I'll try not show that too much in the video. <laughs> oh, 
hopefully once we've got the under part of the belly done, you know, with all these boiler rooms and the engine rooms and stuff like that, once we get to the decks up above, hopefully at that point we'll start firing through it then. Um, because obviously we'll give you the entire layout for the decks and then show you rooms, but when it comes to the, like the cabins and stuff like that, where the guests would have stayed, we'll show you how to do a few rooms and then you can do the rest yourself and that'll save a hell of a lot of time. So, from this bit I'm just going to put the rest of the boilers in and then I will be back with you in a moment. Right, so now we've got that done, we're going to do the holes in the coal bunker walls as we've done in every other part, it's directly in front of the boilers. Um, an interesting question from Pac-Man Master 47 um, on the previous part. Um, could the if the crew have done anything different to miss the iceberg? I personally think it just comes entirely down to the fact that they didn't have binoculars. I think if they'd had the binoculars, um, that they would have seen it a hell of a lot earlier, and they would have missed it. I think it's as simple as that, really. So obviously, Will will have to answer that question himself, either in the next video that is in whichever part that may be. Or maybe you could just actually directly respond to your comment in the comment section. Uh, but yeah, that's my answer on it. I think it was the binoculars. I could have saved everything. So don't forget your doors. Even in the pump room if you want to put your pressure plate. Not your pressure plate. Yeah, it's pressure plate inside as well so you can get out. And then do the door for the connecting boiler room as well. Let's get these little details out of the way. And then the same on this side as well. And that's all the doors dealt with. Okay, so from there, we're going to do the outline for the part work on top. Now initially at this bit, I only count back by seven, uh, but then I decided to change it. What you want to do is go nine in and then do your two blocks. Uh, that's just to save you some time at this point because I do do a bit of uh, messing around. I couldn't decide quite where to put them. But I end up doing it nine back and then you can do your two blocks. I do end up double checking. Yeah, so it's eight blocks and then on your ninth block you do your two. And then you might as well outline them on the other boilers as well, just so that that's done. I know we need to do the casing yet. We do get on with that before we do the part word, don't worry. <laughs> right. That's all done and dusted with now. I think at this point I was just trying to figure out where to put the casing. So you got that one there. It's not on that wall, it's on the wall that's connecting to the last boiler room that we haven't done yet. You can see how small the boilers are going to be in that room <laughs> when the time comes. That's definitely going to be the quickest boiler room to do, I think, personally. Um, but getting on with the casing now, so make sure you grab your white block. And then we're going to count 20 in from the side. And then that's where you'll place your block. And then you're going to bring it back by five. And it's going to be eight wide altogether. And then you just bring it back in towards the wall. Put an extra layer on top and then bring it down by an extra three layers. exactly the same as the other ones that we've done. Ok, 
Okay, so now that we've done that, we'll get on with the part work. Okay, so starting with the middle one, you bring it up by an extra two, and an extra one on top, and this just goes straight forward into the funnel casing. And then we're gonna go to the one on the left, bring that up by two, and then an extra one on top. Then you're gonna go back by four, left by three, back two, left four, back one, and left one. So nice and simple. Then we'll go to the one on the right, bring it up by two, and then an extra one on top, then you're gonna go back by four, right by three, back by two, right by four, back one and right one. And that's what it should look like. Okay, so go into the one on the far left, up by two and an extra one on top, then you're going to want to go back by two, left by six, then back one and left one. And you're just going to mirror it on the other side. So I'll bring it up by two, an extra one on top. You're gonna bring it back by two. Then you're gonna go right by six. back one and right one. I mean like I've said before you can do your own design on these this isn't strictly how it has to be if you want to do your own that's fine. So with that we've come to the end of part nine um, we only have one more boiler room left thankfully <laughs> and it's the smallest one of the lot um, it should be really quick to do that one um, as you can see I've done some markings already and the boilers are absolutely tiny in there um, so it lines up with the funnel casing as well. That's always good to know that we're still on track. And so I will see you in part 10 for the final boiler room. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope to catch you in the next part. Don't forget if you have any questions or any suggestions, leave it down in the comments and I'll get back to you.